too moody? Why not try expressing yourself through art? Try painting a lighthouse in a storm. You can vent your feelings against the rocks. And this is how it's done. A brush into a little bit of thinner, and then we start with a center dot, and then a line across, which helps us separate the sky from the water. Next, we just try a little bit of white in the sky and in the water, and then spread it with a knife. And in the spreading, it prepares us for the overcolors. And for that, we're going to add with a brush, a little bit of yellow, and just smear that in the sky. And then a little tiny bit of red, put that reflected down here in the water, and then some deeper blue, and get that around the edges. And you know, there's only one focal point to a good picture, so what we're going to do is try to focus all our attention on the lighthouse. But meanwhile, I'm getting the rhythm of the sky kind of pointing down and slanting toward the lighthouse. And then I'm going to do that in the water here, and I'm ready for the details. Incidentally, this color star which I developed is a guide to mixing and using colors. You can get various color guides and all these art materials at any art supply store. A bristle brush and a little bit of blue, and I can twist and twirl and just move that brush on an angle to get the feeling of low mountains in the distance. Use the wood end, which I put into a pencil sharpener, and scratch through there. Next, I'm going to use a knife. And I'm going to pick up some blue and some purple and just, ooh, just have the wonderful feeling of moving these colors down and up and on an angle so that I get the feeling of the rocks. Maybe a little bit of the brown will darken it down in here. And then I'll start over on this side and put the rocks in. I keep adding some more paint because you do use more paint when you do knife painting, but it's the juiciest feeling in the world. It's so much fun. And you just let those colors work together for you. Connect it up on that side and leave it open on this side for better composition. And you could highlight the top part if you want with a little bit of white or leave them very dark down in the front. Even adding three dark colors like red, green, and brown will give you some very, very dark, beautiful tones. Now I'm going to pull the water over here and I'm going to add the lighthouse by using some purple tones and then have that off center, off center. There, there's a light color on top and then I'm going to add a little bit of a deeper color over that and put a little dome on it, a little railing you can walk around, have a, a railing go down on both sides like that, clean the brush, Put a little light in it, a little bit of yellow, and then take the yellow and come out on the side so I get the feeling of the light having a lighthouse. <laughs> and then putting two little windows in there. How about a little boat? Well, that's helpful over here, but keep it small. Remember, only one thing that's important in the picture, and that is the lighthouse. Everything else is supplemental. So I'm going to take the brush, and I'm going to use that wooden end again and scratch through it. And a couple of little tiny birds in the distance. I'm adding some blue-brown. They're little tiny Vs like that. Very easily done. And of course, the fun of it is to vent your feelings against the rocks. Take the white and just take the paint on the finger and pull it right up against the rocks. And you have it splashing up against there. And let's see what it looks like in a frame. And you try it, too, because you'll have fun doing it. And I'd say happy painting to you now.